What's wrong? Did something else happen with Nikki? Um, Kevin and I aren't going to homecoming anymore. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we talked and he was pretty much like, if you don't let me come over and have sex with you, I won't go to homecoming with you. And I was only talking to you because, and I quote, fat girls put out. So I'm 60 pounds down and I'm still just the fat girl. Okay. So first of all, you're focusing on the wrong part of his stupidity, but let's get there in a minute. I just don't, I don't. I, I, don't I Megan, I don't want to bother you with this. You know, I, I don't want to upset you. Ellie. I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't want to lose you too. Ellie, no, you're not going to lose me, especially if you're telling me when a shitty guy does something shitty to you. Ugh, just, I'm, I can't. You know what? Max has hydraulic acid and lye at the body shop, and I think he can get rid of Kevin's body in like eight hours. He watches a ton of CSI, and the group jokes he's John Wick, but he's definitely more of like a Gil Grimson type. I don't know what the latter half of that meant, but don't trouble yourself with murder because of my dumb ass. Ellie, you're killing me. Please, please don't think that this is your fault. Kevin is literally just the worst ever. I know I should have listened to you, but I, I didn't because I'm an idiot and I'm a, I'm a desperate fat girl who deluded herself into thinking that- Ellie, I'm saying this as kindly as I can. Please shut the fuck up. No, you're amazing. And he has, has he, he doesn't know what he's missing out on, okay? He, his loss. He sucks. Can we talk about something else, please? Okay, I hear you. Um, Rachel and Teeth have a killer Halloween party planned. Did they tell you the theme? They had to tell Max, and Max can't keep anything from me, but I think that they knew that, so they told Max the bare minimum so he wouldn't ruin the night. But I don't know, I don't think it was a total spoiler. Okay, that's good. I'm pretty excited about the party. I hope I can still come. Ellie, it's at your house. Yeah, but like, it doesn't have to be. Up until last night, I thought I was going to homecoming, so. You're still going to homecoming. Probably not. Don't do this. What's the point? You already bought tickets? Okay, just. $30 less than I'd spend on pizza and soda in a few weeks anyways. What about asking someone else? What about Jared? I mean, you actually really like him and you've gone through such an amazing change. How could he say no? Also, he's not a huge dick like Kevin. Jared doesn't like me. Jared was never going to like me. I I I'm never asking anyone out ever again. And he's probably got a date already, and her dress size is probably in single digits. So no thank you. Would you hate me if I went to bed? I'm really tired. I can never hate you, Ellie. Famous last words. Well, thanks for checking in on me, Megan. You're an awesome friend. Ellie, you are too.